Oh, that's tense. The Witch, or as I like to call it from its title, The Vitch. The Witch was a film that I was kind of hesitant to see at first after seeing the trailer of it on IMDb. It looked very art housey. not to say that that's a style that's bad. I enjoy some of that style. I enjoy Drive, and Drive is definitely an art house film. But, least to say, it just had this kind of feel to it that I was a bit hesitant about. But, a friend of mine wanted to go see it, so I thought, what the heck, it's beginning some decent reviews. Chris Stuckman gave it an A-. minus. Least to say, it's good. It's definitely different from what you might expect of a more conventional horror film. And that's not a bad thing, it's definitely reinvigorating to see something different and to see something new. But, however, it does follow a few art house horror tropes. But first, let's go into the good. The story itself is very basic, but it's very, very interesting. The idea that this family is banished from this settlement and they come to this area to live and make a home for themselves and everything seems okay but then one of their family members is mysteriously taken by which they do not know at the time they try to figure out what it is but in the end they all start turning on each other because they believe there is a witch that is in the woods and it is cursing their family the film is very dedicated to the time of which it is set in which in my case i believe is the late 17th or early 18th century the dialogue is dead on to the time and the heavily christian idealism of this family it's not christian down your throat it's because that's how dedicated they were to their faith back then so it doesn't really bother you it's, and it's actually a really cool contrast because their struggle to keep their faith in what is happening in this cursed environment is a very cool contrast to see with this family but the part that really intrigued me the most out of everything is definitely just the style of the film i love these kind of folklore stories and you can see there is a ton of inspiration from former folklore fairy tales eyewitness accounts they even make a note of it at the end but definitely there is a lot of inspiration and a lot of research went into this the overall setting of this film. The second is the tension. Now this is a film that is a horror film but does not have jump scares. I actually am pretty certain there was maybe one, but every time I thought there was going to be one, it wasn't one. And I first I thought I sat back and I was like, oh, okay. But then part of me was like, wait, well, where's the next one? Is one going to come? Are we going to get one? I'm absolutely horrified. So it was definitely a fun film to watch and it definitely kept this feeling of tension and terror and it just built over the whole film. The actors in this film, not only were the adult actors fantastic, but so were the child actors, especially the girl, the main girl, and the boy. The boy blew me away. He had several scenes in which I thought, wow, if I even try to do it, it would look silly, but this kid just pulls it off fantastically. If there was some complaints, however, the film does move a little bit slow. It is very artsy. Some of the shots are very art house stereotype especially with long shots of nothing with very loud music over them then cutting to black that happened several times however the music itself is very good and helps build the tension with it you've never looked at a goat so terrified like before but the film does have one issue that i would definitely say and that's its rewatchability is quite nil it has a very standard story it has a very slow pace and it is a slow burn but it's a fun burn but at least to say, when the film ended, I wasn't with the feeling of, wow, that was really great. It was more I was like, well, that was decent. I don't think I'll watch it again, though. And that's kind of my feeling with this film. Is as good as it is, it's definitely not a rewatchable film. It is a film that has a cool and unique experience to it. However, it's not as deep as I was hoping it would be in the sense that I wanted a little bit more of The Witch. I like how you don't know much about the witch and how she comes on the screen each time is a different experience, but I just wanted a little bit more. And then the ending too. I like the ending and I hate the ending at the same time. So that's definitely, it's definitely going to have people divided when you see it. It's not something concrete like the Babadook. The Babadook was fantastic throughout and there was nothing wrong with it. The Witch is good as well and director Robert Eggers does a great job having a very minimalistic budget and a very minimalistic script but still contriving and creating this very tensioned and very, very emotional landscape with these characters. But... 
there are still a few knobs in the road. So in the end, I'm going to give this film a 5 out of 7. It is definitely an interesting movie, very compelling sort of atmosphere, and a very good tension, and a very good horror style. So if you haven't seen it, maybe check it out, or just wait for it to come on Netflix, which is sure to do. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I hope to see you guys later.